All right, so I'm back, and today we're going to take a look at the Mafex uh, black suited Superman uh, from the Superman Returns uh, comic, uh, which is you know a little background on this character uh, for me, real quick. Is just I've never been a huge Superman fan. Um, you know, if you watched enough of my videos, you probably have picked up on that. <laughs> Uh, I think he's too powerful. I think, you know, a lot of times he's just like, just so uber, <laughs> you know, overpowered and stuff like that. But this is a case where I just, <sighs> so there was, there's really three, three Superman things, properties that I actually enjoy. <sighs> the first being obviously the Christopher Reeve um, 70s Superman movies I thought were amazing. Uh, they were great. That's the Superman I grew up with. That's the Superman I, I always picture in my head when I think Superman. Uh, not the uh, super buffed out, jacked one that we've been getting. Um, and then the 90s animated series, um, which alone I didn't like. But the fact that it's a part of the uh, bigger DC universe at the time, um, I really enjoyed. And then there was, I had a trade paperback of the Return of Superman. And so in the 90s, you know, of course, you know, everyone, you know, everyone had to die and come back and they're cooler or whatever. And that's what was the case of Superman. So he dies fighting Doomsday. As you guys know, I mean, it's not not a big secret. And then he comes back in the Return of Superman uh, with a bunch of other Superman. Uh, we had Superboy, Steel, Eradicator, Cyborg Superman, and the Black Suited Superman. And Mafex has given us the Black Suited one. Cyborg Superman's on pre order. Steel's on pre order. So I'm just missing Eradicator and Superboy. And that was one of my favorite comic books growing up. I read that thing so many times I, I could not even tell you. So, while I'm not a huge Superman fan, um, I would buy every every one out of that set <laughs> just because. Um, so yeah, uh, here he is out of his packaging. Um, it's not really a lot to go on. Uh, he's got a very good matte finish for the whole figure. Um, with the silver bits here, here, and here. Um, he's got the uh, 90s longer hair with the uh, shading of the blue in there. Um, he's got the stoic face. I kind of wish he had a smiling face because I don't think we got one with the uh, uh, Hush Superman. I don't think we got a smiling face with that either. So it just would be nice. Um, yeah, um, posability wise his head is on the double ball peg um, from head to the neck and neck into the torso. All the uh, skin tones all match, which is nice. Uh, who was it that didn't do that? I think it was the uh, the Mafex Thor <laughs> figure from Infinity Wars. Uh, while we've got his head off, he's got the historic face and he's got an angry face. So you got your choice of faces. Uh, both are sculpted and painted really, really well. I like that. They did a really good job here. So you just kind of... There you go. Um, butterfly joints for the shoulders. Uh, universals uh, as well. Bicep swivel. Uh, double bend elbow. All that looks good. Uh, wrist swivels and hinges in and out or up and down, however you have it designed. Uh, ab crunch and then torso crunch. Uh, hips drop down and they go up to there, back to there, out to the sides. There's a little bit of a thigh swivel in there. Double bend knee. Oh, all that was on camera. 
<laughs> I keep looking at just the figure, not the screen. Sorry. Uh, we've seen all this before, though. Um, hinge uh, up and down for the n n foot. I keep wanting to say knee. And he's got the rocker kind of built around that and toe tilt. We'll go over the accessory stuff in just a moment. Uh, first off, let's do the comparisons. So here he is with the Hush Superman, and from what I can tell, for the most part, he is a um, repaint, which is fine because you know I'm, obviously you'd want to reuse the same mold for the same character. <laughs> um, uh, he's got a different crotch piece, the softer plastic, so you can't couldn't really do. It's just a retool there. And I also have a different chest piece. Uh, his S is, um, it's sculpted barely. So it's just got the outline. Whereas his is actually sculpted in all the way. Wristbands are different. Obviously the toe piece is a little bit different and he's got boots that are sculpted on and he does not. <clears throat> so you can see the, the, the framework is there. Um, I'm having a hard time getting them to stand. I usually have this guy posed on a on a stand, so he's kind of like floating. Uh, so it's kind of he's like I'm not used to using my feet. There we go. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, it's you know my biggest problem with Marvel Legends has always been you know reusing of the molds. And it's like, I'm okay with reusing the mold when it makes sense. <laughs> but when it doesn't make sense, like Vulture being the same body as Spider-Man, when it doesn't make sense, it just sticks out like a sore thumb. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh. And speaking of Legends, here he is with the Marvel Legends Wolverine figure. Um, so you see how he scales with a Marvel Legends. And this is what I was telling a friend of mine. Uh, you know, first off, because he was saying the Mafex figures run small, and so the SH figure arts stuff, and it's like they used to, but not anymore. But the biggest thing that sticks out to me with Legends now, when you're looking at especially a higher-end figure, is like their heads and hands are bigger than they needed to be. It's just, it's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, you know, whatever. So... We're not rating them on Marvel Legends. Okay, now, um, so, uh, like I said, he's got the two heads. Let me rotate the camera down so we can look at the hands. So he's got the two fist hands that are on him. He's got two flying hands. He's got two relaxed hands. He's got two kind of grabby hands. And the, the weirdest one of all, though, is he's got these two kind of fist hands, but they've got that little wedge in there, um, similar to Batman, and I think the other Superman came with him, too. Uh, but it's it's to hold... You, what you do is you take the wire from the cape, and you kind of put it into his hand. Um, so Batman does it better. Um, and so he can hold his cape, but he doesn't have a cape. So it's kind of weird that we've got cape holding hands without, without a cape. So, and then to switch those out, um, I'm going to go with the relaxed hands. Um, so we just take his relaxed hands and just plug them on just like that that and then you can take your fist hands and plug them back into these little things so that the holes don't close up on you which is a pretty clever thing that they're doing now and then I'm also going to give him back his stoic face alright well that looks pretty good
lights are kind of <laughs> really flashing off that S, but I don't know much we can do about that. Uh, that's why you have something so shiny. All right, then he also has these whole different set of feet. So in the comics, he lost his ability to fly because he just died and he's trying to get his power. He's slowly getting his powers back with the sun. That's what the black suit is. It absorbs more light uh, for him so he heal faster. Um, but anyway, so he's got these special boots um, that, you know, you got the uh, ankle rocker here. Rotates, uh, toe tilt here, all that works pretty well. And what they do is they allow him to fly. So you can plug these little blast effects into the bottom, just like that. And now he can fly, or act, or seemingly fly. And then what you want to do is take these little pegs here out they're there to keep that thing from stretching out or closing up and then you pull the leg off and then you take this and it just slides in there just like that And then he can be flying. So you can you display stand out and make him hover or whatever. Or if you want to pose him on your shelf just with the metal boots, you can do that as well. Um, up to you. I might just to give it a little bit more breakup. Um, in the comics, it was mostly just the black, but you know, give it a little bit more breakup is nothing wrong with that. I don't think. And here he is with the uh, Hush Superman again. I wonder if the heads are interchangeable. Now the cut skin tone doesn't match, and it doesn't it doesn't really want to peg in there. Cause that'd be yeah. I mean that's kind of the same face. Yeah. No, it's a whole different sculpt. Kind of makes me wish that he had the same skin tone as he did. <laughs> Just one of those that kind of sticks out now that I'm looking at it with something else to compare it to. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I can't wait to get Steel um, to pose next to him. And I hope we get a Superboy and Eradicator. I just think... I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, I do. Um, all in all, I mean, I have nothing negative to say about this figure. Um, it is, without a doubt, a perfect version of this particular character for the scale. I can't stress... You know how much I love having the DC figures in the same scale as Marvel figures so I can actually pose them together. You know, the idea at some point that I'm going to have a Justice League standing next to the the uh, Avengers and, and then probably the X-Men. <laughs> That's going to be so cool to look at. Um, and it's just, you know, the DC Direct figures were never the same scale. Mc um... McFarlane or whatever, however you say his name, I can't ever seem to remember. Um, his 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 scale's always been just whatever he feels like at the time. <laughs> just it's so out there. But it just it's cool to think that I'm gonna have all of these characters, you know, all all together to have one nice big shelf at some point. It's just. It's just a great idea, you know, for me. I just, I love it. It's it's something that I always wanted as a kid, and I just, I can't, I never seem to be able to get it because of the way things were just kind of done. So, it's just, you know, 
Superman, Spider-Man, Wolverine, all that could be next to each other and scaled together. And it's just, I love it. I, I really love it. It really helps me justify buying both DC and Marvel for the first time. Uh, you know, it's, I know it sounds weird, but I, 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 I just, I couldn't do that different scales. You know, now the, the new DC figures and some of the old ones, you know, for the bigger characters, you know, like the clay faces and the killer crocs, you know, that's going to be cool, but maybe a doomsday and dark side in that scale. Um, just to give them just that much more mass to them. Same thing with, you know, uh, the Marvel stuff, you know, branch out to the um, select line just to kind of give me a little bit more oomph. But, uh, but yeah, uh, that's really all I got. Um, hopefully it's not too washed out for you with the lights, but it's kind of hard. <laughs> the camera's having a hard time with the, um, you know, the brightness of that silver and then the darkness of the the character with the dark background it's just it's it's having a hard time working on that but it's a it's a figure i highly recommend if you're in for the line uh i have absolutely nothing negative to say about it i think it's i think it's great um so so yeah uh, enough rambling from me on this so so yeah i guess that's all i got